to featherplugs.com. Hey guys, it's Jess with Two Feather Plugs, and today we're talking all about septums. And we have a special guest named Adner. He's a professional piercer for over 21 years. Hi everyone. You definitely want to find a professional piercer like Adner when you're getting your septum pierced because when I first got my septum, I did not do research and they pierced through my cartilage. So I had to get it done a second time. So how would you recommend shopping for septums like the sizing? So that'll be easiest to determine based on how you got pierced, whether it be with a 16 gauge or 14 gauge. And then the style that you're trying to achieve uh, could be eight millimeter, 10 millimeter, depends on, on the height of the jewelry that you want it to sit at. The type of jewelry could be like circular barbell, crescent, clickers are pretty popular nowadays. Just depends how you want it to fit. So what kind of material would you recommend when freshly pierced? Usually it's always gonna be surgical steel. If someone prefers titanium, that's also an option but that's generally you know, the go-to for a fresh piercing. So how about when it's a little bit older and you wanna change it? Yeah, same thing, doesn't really change, just you know, quality metals, so surgical steel, stainless, titanium, gold, silver. Basically not what I'm buying sometimes. Yeah, don't <laughs> use no acrylics. I know glass is also an option for certain septum styles, but uh, that's basically it. So something I really want to know is can they come out like the septum piercing and how long before the hole closes? So septum usually, and this varies from every piercer, but generally my experience is anywhere from two to three months to fully heal as long as you take good care of it and so long as it's pierced properly as well. So after that, just give it some time, you know, maybe after about five to six months, you know, if you have to, let's say I get a lot of people going in for checkups or something like that, like MRIs and stuff like that. So, you know, take it out, give it a day or two and then put it back in if it's that long of, you know, you having to take it out for it. But generally it should stay open a couple of days. Generally a week, you definitely want to put it back in because it tends to tighten up. But until you've had it for years and years and years, you could probably keep it out for a solid month. Um, I can in anyways, but it might shrink a little bit, but it'll still stay open. So might have to stretch it a bit. I wish I knew that when I had my surgery because I was really worried about that. Yeah. So how would you recommend taking care of a septum piercing? Generally you just want to leave piercings alone. Keep them clean two, maybe three times a day if necessary, but a septum for the most part, as long as it's done properly, it kind of heals up on its own, really. Some people need to flip it for work or whatnot, which is fine, but whenever you are cleaning it, don't rotate it or anything like that side to side. That's, it's not gonna feel good at all, especially when it has any dried up lymphatic fluid on there, the crusty buildup, it's going to sting quite a bit. So just don't do that. But yeah, just salt water, however you want to do that, whether it be with the spray, whether it's brand or some generic, grocery store brand, doesn't matter, it's just salt and water. Go to the beach, get some water there. But just soak up on a Q-tip and just exfoliate the sides, you know? And that's basically it, just leave it alone. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. And join our Facebook group if you have any more questions. Until next time. <laughs> Bye everyone.